in the Euros last year. But really interesting matchup this, Paul, because we saw what Smith produced on the first day, 112.86, a second highest average ever in this tournament. And Max Hope for the first four legs of yesterday's win against Jose Di Sousa was averaging almost 124, never mind highest average in the tournament. Be looking at a world record average had he managed to carry on that. So if either of them can reignite that kind of form, we could be in for something rather special. Well, if it's any way like the game we had between Ratajski and Roach, we're in for a treat. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, Max to throw first. Game on. What kind of start will Hop get today? Because the start yesterday in the first two legs where he got four 180s, that doesn't happen very often. It's very unlikely he's going to do that again. 100. But the weight of the dart predominantly was very good yesterday for Max. But to touch on Ross Smith, he was explosive on Friday. 58. Yesterday he showed a very different quality. Coming from behind to beat Gerwin Price, the defending champion. Yeah, and it's, it still was quality though, wasn't it? High 90s, 4-0 down. 100. Really impressive stuff from Smith. A pair of them have hit 13 maximums between them in this tournament. Here's a big 180 hitter. One and there's one right there. First of the contest won't be the last. Uh, because we've seen the departure of Franz Roach, Smith and the other players trying to break into the European Championship record. They know exactly what they need to do now this afternoon, win the match. Aguera and Baker to follow. Ross Smith having had that wonderful victory against MVG last year. He'll want a taste of that again. Oh, yeah. He'll want to be a mainstay. That's the goal of all the players. They want to be part of the elite so that they don't have to constantly be in matches like this where they have to win to get in. What does he have to do to win this leg? It's not going to be the 164 checkout. 96. Max should force require Max into taking this out to hold on to his throat. Double 16 for a first leg hold in 15. Oh, and the weight of the dart wasn't right there. 68. A yeah, wild one. Chance to break early for a dream start for Ross Smith. Game sharp in the first is on. leg. Ross Smith. Just very, Second very sharp at the minute, Ross Smith. First. He's not making many Game mistakes. On. And if his opponent does make one tiny one, he is going to be in there. The Ross Smith has never lost to Max Hope. The pair of them have met on four previous occasions over the years, a couple of times on the well then youth tour back in 2013. At the Dutch Darts Championship in 2018 and at a Players' 91. Championship event last year. The two in senior. PDC tournaments going quite close, but Smith getting the better of Max 6 5 and 6 4. 80. It's a fabulous action that both of these players have. Technically, very, very sound. I was talking to Scott Baker this morning. 77. He was there and he was admiring the throw of Max Hop. He said it's one of the best out there. Well, I think that. Max has got one of the best, and so has Ross. The only unconventional thing that Ross has is the grip. One but there's nothing wrong with it. The grip of Ross Smith. It's almost like a claw. All fingers are curved. And the dart is balanced on the ends of the curled fingers. 97. Look at that there. The claw grip. Well, he's getting a grip on this match from the off, you said at the start. He was a big, big 180 hitter these days, and he's hit one in each of the first two legs, taking his tournament tally to nine. Who's to say that Ross Smith won't go on to win his first PDC well, ranking event today? 86. He has been knocking on the door of the latter stages of an event all year long.
Forty-six. Max, we've seen so far. We're not expecting Max to get this, but he might have a crack, and does. Full credit. Oh, One so close. Twenty-eight. Tremendous try from Max Hop. Ross, you require forty. Yeah, just took a moment before taking aim at the Game double. Game shot in the second leg. Rusty. It might Third be Rusty's moment to today, first. as you mentioned there, Game Paul. He has been knocking on the door of late. And we have seen players who have been knocking on the door. Come and wow, produce man, big stuff voting. on the European tour. And then Devin Peterson springs to mind. There are probably other players who may be first in line to get their first PDC ranked event. But there are others who have been sticking around and getting good victories against great players and 96. In the later echelons of tournaments who haven't quite made finals yet. And I think Ross Smith is in that bracket. But nothing can be ruled out in 2020. 95. We had a quarter final run at the Autumn Series. In fact, had a couple. Losing out to Nick Kenny and Ryan Searle in successive days. Nick Kenny's a good example, actually, because during the Autumn Series, he had four first-round losses and a semi-final. But Ross Smith is not doing that right now. He's constantly accumulating points. He's only going one way in the rankings. And getting himself through this match will be 100. 2,000 extra ranking points and will, of course, make the Euros, which will be even more ranking points. He'll be getting very close towards that top 32. 59. Max should require 106. Well, Max with a, a little bit of breathing space here. Hasn't had any of that so far in this match. 49. That's not bad. We'll get two for the leg when he returns. 49. Got to put pressure on. One run Good on pressure. 35. Yeah, very well done Actually as well because he used the dart that was in the treble five there. Hop. Once tops. Well, that sort of tops is the one Ross, we're talking about. It's the one that gets dragged very, very low. And Smith is the kind of person who doesn't let him off. Oh, just so good on tops when he's shot. Ross, and that is the Pumping word that I would use to describe first. him Game on. over and over again. Sharp, sharp, sharp from Ross Smith. Ideal start, isn't it? Offer yeah. someone a 3 0 lead, and they're not going to say no. 60. But can you mention that dart top from Max Top? I often rely on and bow to your expert analysis, Paul, but that was there for everyone to see. You could almost see it dip before it hit the board. Well, this is the thing about the dart he's using it's very long. 100. And he does have a lot of fingers on the long dart that he throws. And he does have a tendency sometimes to. Allow that dart to come out of the hand a little late. So if he's got that strangled grip on that dart and it comes out a little late, it'll drastically dive because it's so tall. You've got to get the timing right. When he gets it right, you see things like the first four legs from yesterday. But he's already had a couple of darts in this match where the weight of the dart has been severely lacking. 100. I think he's going through a process at the moment, Max. He's trying to rediscover a consistent high range. And he has been using these darts for 21. a good few weeks now. He does like them. But with every single change, you are going to have ups and downs. 100. He's had ups so far this weekend. 6-1 win 
against Yellow Class and then that explosive performance yesterday against Jose de Sousa, the winner of the last two games. Oh, oh, a a much-needed 180 there from Max Holt. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Smith trying to run away with this game. Might still do so. 90. It's not the end of the world. Max should require that little 10. Not the easiest finish for Hop. He's going for the 60. Wow. 60. So many options. And he 51. went for the blocked bed. The one blocked bed on the board. I'm flabbergasted. Game it's cost him. The full flag. Ross Smith. Ross Smith. Leads for a mil. Game on. Well, if they didn't laugh, they'd have to cry. One That's bad. It does have a great relationship with that treble 20, but I have to go back to that shot with 80 left on the board. Two darts for it. One, one segment out of all of the segments on the board is blocked. Why would you go for that one? When it's very hard to negotiate getting past it, well... That's old news. Yeah, hasn't stopped hitting it since. One round and 39. Well, he does love the track 20, <laughs> and he switches on that. It wasn't a loose dart. It wasn't dangling. It didn't look in any threat to hit the floor. Banged into them. He's almost a law unto himself sometimes. Yeah, I'll give you three words of advice, Paul. Don't ask me. I won't. Bamboo. One round and 40. Decision making at times. Has to be said though, this is a bone crunching leg from Max Hopp, and that's exactly what he needs from here on out. 60. Well, we know that Max he can explode. He exploded 40. at the start of the match with a big burst. Can he have a big burst here? And better to have it when Smith is still 26. two legs from the line. I think Ross Smith just needs to stay in a nice, tidy process here. Keep doing what you're doing and prepare for the next leg. Max, you require he will have written 16. this one off in his mind. And he'll be all right with losing yeah, this I'm leg, which he has clear. done now because it's Max Max's out. draw. Now Ross can get Six his way to 5-1. That's the plan. Max is made of very tough stuff. He's a very intelligent young man always has been one but that's the ideal start well it's a 180 that takes ross smith into double figures for the weekend max hope the closest one. to him at which point do we start talking about ross smith being a genuine threat for this title well you can talk about it now if you want i think he is I think we're going to be in One for a blockbuster night, considering what we've got already. We've got Wade against Van Gerwen, where Wade might go in as favourite. Ratajski versus Sudovic, well, who doesn't love that? Central European heavyweight clash. Wonder if this one plays Dave Chisnell or Cullen, which in itself is a fantastic match. Yeah, game of the afternoon on paper, I have to say. Big opportunity for somebody in the bottom bit. Michael Smith, Jesus Nogueira. Scott Baker or Danny Nobbert will make their way to the semi-finals. Very, very good stuff this from Smith, having seen Hop 100. dominate the last leg. 84. 180. Laid down the marker, and he just pulled away. Double 12. Game show on the sixth starter. leg. Ross Smith, seventh leg, makes Paul the front he first. could be a contender. He's going to go under the radar because other people are going to talk about the people who are already through, the likes of MVG, Wade, Ratajski, Sulevic. But let's face it, 100. the way that Ross Smith has played this week and has been playing lately, he's going to cause a lot of those players and all of the players left in the bottom half a whole stack of problems. He's making playing dogs look very easy, and that is a compliment. I think it was a good phrase under the radar because even though he had that brilliant performance oh, uh, the day, looking at matches and still making him the underdog 
really with just about everyone he plays in this tournament. And One man of at The fixtures at the start of today, Dave Chisnell, Joe Cullen jumps off the page. Many thinking that the winner of that may well be the one that goes on to reach a final from that half. One man of Smith will have a say. Might have some Ross Smith fans out there, but I don't think they're going to vocalise that. A bit like seeing you're a Rangers fan at one round Celtic Stadium. 40. Makes you require 140. That is perfect. So is that. One that round was not. 30. But it really was Ross a good effort. He missed the 136 61. earlier. This is the 140 on this occasion, but he does get the revisit. But it will be at a different double. 55. Max for Hop to hang on. Game ah, show he does play. hang in there. Max for how long? That's exactly what he's doing. You're absolutely right. All he's doing is hanging in this game because Ross Smith is the sheriff. 57. This is where you don't want to start seeing scores of 57 and 58. You want to be getting that 140 to start this leg to take the stress off yourself. Max up fans out there. But he needs to get his power scoring going, Max up because he can't afford to give Ross Smith any chances. One up! What we've seen before suggests he's going to take them as he rattles in another maximum. The guy in the Gezi shirt there has just gone through the emotions, hasn't he? Cheering the big score of Hop and then. Hating that 180 wow. for Ross Smith. <laughs> oh, it's a trail being a player, but it's hard to be a fan as well. Been an excellent performance from Smith. The scoring's there. He's been perfect on the checkout. 44. Ouch. There you see, not a single dart miss. A double by Ross Smith, but that slip could deny him wow. that opportunity. This leg at least. I haven't seen a 6 out of 6 since Michael Smith in Gratz two years ago. One Tremendous. Does he get a shot at the 6 out of 6? Well, it's a, a finish that Max Hop knows very well. And he likes to do it on the ball. 96. Well, Ross, you require could be 80. one, could be two darts. Based on how he's finished, it's game over. Well, he'll only need one. By that reckoning. Having to move across, perhaps the most difficult double he's taken aim at in this match. 60. Absolutely. That was a very match difficult shot. 25. Chance missed. For the perfect game, pretty much. Double eight to stay in it. Fabulous sticking Max power. Ninth leg, Max to throw first. Game on. Yeah, the first time Ross Smith misses a dart at double, he's punished for it. As Hot breaks the throw. Just getting interesting, this. In the place at the European Championship. 100. Don't forget on the line for Ross Smith here. If you get yourself the reputation of really hard to get rid of, that's a good thing in darts. One Make yourself into a bit of a terrier player like Robert Thornton. And I get the feeling that Max Hopp is really starting to 16. find a tenacious nature about his sport these days. And there's a, a sneaky confidence around him. Yeah, particularly in these European Tour events in Germany. He has managed to turn that pressure into... 100 a help for him and he does have an air of authority on the stage absolutely One hundred. can't tell you how good that second dart was not entirely sure how he got that in but I likened him to Tony O'Shea last week in Sindelfingen because he pushes the dart so hard 100. that he can bypass the blocker with ease sometimes and the best player I've ever seen do that was Tony O'Shea. Maybe he's modelled himself entirely on Tony O'Shea. It's not a bad model. Tony's a great guy. 
Yeah, it has the same walk on song, but not the same walk on routine as old Silverback. Well, this should be routine from here for Ross Smith. Six darts. To see the spot in the final session now in the European Championship. That's a terrific last start. You'd much rather be on 71 than 96. 96 is a good leave, but 71 is just a bit easier. Because you should be guaranteed one more shot for the match. He's looking at 51. This time. No, no, no. He wanted to go to his favourite double 18. And maybe he was thinking about it before he threw into the single. Well, there's a lot that he could have been thinking about. He's catching. Well, now he's got to hit the sandwich shot right in the middle. 20. Couldn't jam it in. Ross, you require 40. And now Ross Smith has a glorious opportunity to complete this victory. Double 10. Well, that's awkward. Can he work off it? Oh, wrong score. bed. We've seen him in the wrong big number. Max now we've seen him in the wrong Fulton. double. Max Hop was all over the place in the last visit, but can he hang in there again? Yeah. He has. Max I don't know how much of this draw I can take this one. I've already had that Roach match against Ratajski. Well. you have to pick me off the floor by the end of the day. The amount of drama we've gone through in the last couple of weeks. Well, let me ask you, Paul, you've been in similar positions to win matches to get into the latter stages of tournaments, but also to get into big tournaments. How difficult is it for that not to be running through your head when you're taking aims at du aim at doubles to win? It's awful. It is awful. Because all you want to do is play a game of darts and try and win that match. You don't want other things floating around your brain. 59. I remember being in Vegas a decade ago thinking my place at the World Match Play was under massive threat. And I was playing against Nigel Hayden and I just couldn't get my mind off wow. it. I lost the match. And I needed a favour from Steve Evans to beat Gary Anderson. It happened. Fat lot of good it did me. I went and got drilled by Steve Beaton at the World wow. Match Play. But when you're in those kinds of matches, you are under immense pressure from yourself and nobody else. Sixty. Well, he had to stay on the 60 there. So I can't criticise his tenacity on the 20 segment, but now Ross Smith is trying to cultivate another chance. Financially for Ross 85. Smith, this match is worth £8,000. I don't think he's been involved in many matches worth that amount of money. The couple that he'll get extra for reaching the quarter-finals, and then it's six for a of the European Championship. Ross, you well, Ross had 205 on his last visit. On the last start, he chose to go for the 60. It's cascaded into the five, when I think he should have gone for the 25 to leave 100. And now he's got a really tricky look in Shanghai, but what a dart that is to give himself another match chance. Go Smith shot. seals the spot not only in the quarterfinals of this European Tour event, but also a place at the European Championship. He did some damage there last year when he beat Michael Van Gerwen. He's beaten Max Pop here. And in the end, he does get through and he can relax.